Hello, welcome to another Journey with James. Right now we're in the tent uh, near the mountain, and today we're going to be going to the wine tasting spot. It's a place where they have classic taste cheese and wine, and see which one pair well together. We'll also be getting our own little private tour with an actual cheese expert, which will be really fun. And at the end of the video, we're even going to tell you how you can possibly sign up for classes and how to get there. Alright, let's go. Hello, and here today I'm with Roman. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And today we are in the uh, Parole de Fromager cheese shop. Right, so today I'm going to be asking some questions just on some historical questions on when this first started. Uh, what type of cheeses you have, which are the most popular. So I guess to get it started, uh, when did this start? When did this shop open? What's kind of the history of this shop? So the story of the shop starts in 2014, when my uh, associate, Pierre, wanted to make a cheese and white tasting in Paris. So it starts to the class in different cheese shop in Paris. And um, in 2017, we find the good place to make cheese syrup and cheese and wine tasting. So it was here. And we opened in uh, September, September uh, 2017. Wow, so that, that's pretty um, that's pretty recent for the shops opening. Exactly. Okay, cool. And um, as far as the classes go, how could you describe in words what that whole process is like? for people that don't know what the uh, what they're getting into when they're signing up for the classes? Um, here, we have a, we are just not a cheese shop because um, we, um, um, our passion is to uh, give uh, the knowledge about the cheese making and the cheese tasting. So we wanted to, um, to, um, to give all, of, all the information about the cheese, how make the cheese, how test the cheese, where they can find the cheese, and so what are all the subtleties about the cheese. So this is uh, this is our job. Ah, right. Okay, that's awesome. What would you say to someone who maybe doesn't know? What would you say is like your most popular cheese, or something that I guess brings people to the shop or brings people to the classes? What's kind of the the most uh, popular known item? within this shop? Uh, in France, the most popular cheese is uh, the Comté. Mm. Comté, and so it's, um, it's a big wheel of cheese, and it's very popular cheese in France. And uh, it's a hard cheese. So Comté for me is the most popular because this is the best in this uh, in this shop. And after that, we have other cheese, uh, very uh, uh, popular, like the Brie, so this one. French Brie, or we have the Camembert, another famous and popular cheese. That's awesome. So for me, this is the most popular cheese that we have. That's awesome. That's the best awesome. Setter. That's great. And as far as the relationship between wine and cheese, why, why do you think that is? Why do you think there is this relationship between wine? Why are these classes particularly with wine and um, no. Basically, um, when you go in France and in Paris, you can find a lot of wine class. And every time, it's always the same thing, cheese inside, it's not very important. It's something very good with wine, but the most, is what, the most important thing is wine. And so, wine and cheese, it's like a good wedding. It makes sense. Because in France, we are lucky because if you look, if you just look at the French map, when there is a wine, in the same area there is cheese. Mm. So that's why wine and cheese, or cheese and wine, makes sense. It's a good wedding. And the thing is, wine, it's um, it's a product. It's, the wine is something very novel because it's um, it's famous all around the world, and so it's something very uh, very, very famous. Cheese is just different because cheese is made by farmers. It's most rural. 
it's not something very novel. So that's why wine, for the people, wine is very famous and cheese is something very famous, not so famous. Mm. And we wanted to change that because making cheese or making wine, it's very uh, complex. It's difficult to make this wine and it's very difficult to make cheese. And so that's why um, we like to talk about the cheese and we wanted to make something a little bit different than the other uh, testing class. And so that's why we prefer to focus the, um, the, the class on the cheese. And we can find some cheese in order to get a good pairing. Mm. So that's why wine is very important for us. And cheese, no, sorry, cheese is very important for us. And wine is on the side and he is here to make the, the cheese better. Right. 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 That's awesome. Okay, well, next um, we're going to go to the cheese storage room and you can talk a little bit more about that, about how the cheese has been uh, kept there for a while and stored and which different types of cheese maybe come in a little later, you know, get into all that. So, okay. thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so where are we right now within the shop to those who don't know? I don't, this is a, I like to say that this is a, this is a heart of the cheese shop. Uh, so this is an aging cellar. This is a room, it's a room, it's like a fridge, where we uh, mature the cheese and where we store the cheese. And so inside we have a different type of cheese. Uh, we can start by the most popular cheese in France. The Comté. Well, we, are, we are really lucky today because we get we received the Comté today. This one, it's a two years aged. And this one, it's one years aged. So, um, these cheese are aged, were aged in the place where the cheese uh, was made. So, it's in the Comté region. So, it's um, in the um, west of France. So we bought the cheese and we keep the cheese in this aging cellar. So we sell the cheese and so um, it's very important. Conte it's very popular, so it's very important to propose two different Conte, a younger and an older. For the for the older one, uh, before it got here, how long was it aged even before it came to this part of the store? Alors, the, um, the younger, at least the Conte is four months aged, four months. And the older could be 36, 40 months wow. maximum. Wow, wow, how interesting, how interesting. Wow. And so we've gone over some of the, the older cheese. What about some of the younger cheese, some of like the goat cheese? How, how long has that been aged and what is that process like? I don't know. So here this is a goat cheese. Um, in French, we say that this is Chéron. Um, so we have a different goat cheese. Uh, yes. One of my favorite goat cheese is this one. So the cheese name is Moté. Moté sur feuille. Sur feuille, it means on leaf. Because we put the cheese on the leaf, on the store, on the cheese store. Okay. But here we keep the cheese, and this one, for example, it's fresh cheese. Wow. It was aged between 10 and 15 days, maximum. So we can see, just when we look at the cheese, we can see that the cheese is fresh. When I touch, I feel that the cheese is fresh. But here, in this cave, the temperature and the humidity rates um, very nice to keep the cheese longer in aging the cheese to develop the texture and the flavor. So we can keep the cheese one week, two weeks more in this cave and at the end the cheese 
Bibi, apa itu? Pengen tau? <laughs> so, you can see that the color is very white. White, it's a regular color, but it, we can feel that, we can see that the cheese is very young. So, for this particular one, where did you get this one from? I know that the, the Nkutsi was gone from that region, but where, where was this one uh, given to you? Where did you I know. Where that? So, in the French map, so this one comes from at the east of France, and the region is uh, Charente Maritime. Um, actually, all of these cheese come from um, cheese area in France. They don't come from Paris. They don't make cheese in Paris. So the cheese come from a different area in France. The big wheel of cheese, it's a mountain, from the mountain at the west of France, goes in the flat area in the west of France, but for example, if we want to test um, Camembert, Camembert, the real Camembert, I can show you just here. Camembert, it's made in Normandy. Uh, Normandy, it's um, the north west of France. And out of all of the different cheeses here, I know that the most popular might be the Ecclesi. But what is your personal favorite of the ones that you right now have in this uh, part of the store, as you put it? My favorite cheese. Uh, it's uh, my favorite cheese. I like the I like the soft cheese. A little bit sticky. Ah, like the Epoise cheese. This is a um, one of the. It's a popular cheese, but as you see, the cheese is orange outside and is very yummy and soft. Right, right. So the thing is, the cheese was washed with the salt and water, the brine, and the salt and water give the orange color in the rubber, make a flavor a little bit intense. So this is one of my favorites, salt and character. And is there a particular wine that you would? I put this with, or what? Uh, if you want to do a, a nice cheese and wine uh, uh, pairing, um, with this type of cheese, we can find, uh, we can test uh, a red wine from the same region. Mm -hmm. Because two products from the same area could be a very good pairing. So this cheese, it's a burgundy cheese, made in burgundy in the Eltwise village. And so in Burgundy, there was a lot of wine, very exceptional. So you can find a red wine, not too tannic, a little bit of fruity, and with cheese, Eltwise. It's a very good pairing. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. All right, well, thank you. And this has been live from the art of this world with all the different cheeses. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you so much for this amazing tour. Thank you for uh, showing us the heart of the uh, cheese factory and telling us a little bit of history about uh, the relationship of wine and cheese uh, here in France. So I was wondering if you could uh, give our viewers just a little bit of knowledge of where you guys are located in Paris and possibly how they could get there, get here, just to wrap up the video. So, so here we are in the one close, the biggest... Um, uh, metro station in Paris and one of the biggest place in Paris this is the Republic place and the Republic station and so this is the, the quarter is number 10 and so if you want to come for to buy some cheese or if you want to come here for cheese and wine testing or cheese making so you can go on the, our web, website it's paroledefromage.com and so you can look uh, what we what we what we do uh, organize just here, and can uh, can they sign up on uh, uh, classes through the website as well, or is that mostly uh, via call on the website? On the website, on the website. That's awesome. Okay, well, thank you, and uh, thank you very much here for Paris. This is an amazing tour. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you.
Bro, that was the most